Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven. I'm a pharmacist and I own 52 units of real estate. So today I want to talk about how doing the simple things will help you build wealth, right? And I feel like I apply a lot of these cost concepts in multiple facets, right? Whether it's in my million dollar stock portfolio. I literally just maxed out my 401k every single year for 11 years that I've been working, right? And if I had any additional money, I would put in more money into like a stock brokerage. And for the most part, I just bought Apple stocks consistently and I bought uh, index funds uh, consistently through Vanguard, right? So very simple and it built up to a million dollars. Didn't really do much, right? Didn't really require much time and effort for me. I just dollar cost average, set it and forget it, right? If you look at real estate, um, you know, real estate's obviously a little, lot more complicated than, than stocks and index funds. But my simple concept was, okay, save up for 10% down, right? Once I can get 10% down, I'm gonna buy a house 10% down and to do that, you just have to make consistent offers, right? I think for my first house, I made like five offers and I got it. My second property, I made about 10 offers and I got it. During COVID, I bought a house in Southern California. I probably made about 50 offers, right? So if you, are you consistently just making offers, right? That's it. Like that's what any buying any real estate. If you make enough offers, you're bound to get a property, right? <laughs> it's easy said, like you just need to get 10% down and make a lot of offers and eventually you'll get a bite, right? Like. I bought most of my house hacks on market, MLS, right? So on Redfin or Zillow. So I didn't do anything special. I literally just made offers consistently, sight unseen sometimes, right? And at that point, that's how I got my multifamily or my single family home portfolio, right? I own like um, six single family homes. Like I just made an offer. Like I, I bought my new build in Huntsville, Alabama. I, I just made an offer and new builds are easier to buy because it's first come first serve. Like my primary residence, new build. First come first serve, I just made an offer. Right for my SF home, my Bay Area homes, I just made offers, and then eventually you get one. Right, I wasn't too picky in terms of like, oh, the look, the location, as long as the neighborhood was nice, wasn't a high crime area, um, you know, could see myself living there. That was the only criteria that I had. Right, so I just consistently made offers and took consistent action with my multifamily deals. You know, what I teach in my mentorship is direct mail. Right, so are you consistently sending out your direct letters every month? Right, are you sending three hundred a month? Right? Are you holding yourself accountable every month? Are you getting coaching every month? Are you making offers? Like even if it's a low ball offer, make an offer, right? Like get in the habit of making an offer. Like what I teach my students for multifamily is you make two offers. You make an offer traditional financing, which is tr typically less, but you also make an offer creative financing, which is gonna be more, right? So let's just say, um, if I were to make a traditional offer with traditional bank financing, I would offer a million dollars. But if they want creative financing, maybe I'll offer 1.2, 1.3 million dollars creative finance, right? So always write two offers and they may laugh at your face and say no to you, right? But so what? If one says yes, then you have a great deal, right? And all you need is one multifamily deal to change your life, right? Like with just my 26 unit alone, you know, I bought for half a million. I put in $300,000 of renovation, $800,000 all in. I renovate all the units, was able to increase the rent to $700, right? And then from there, because I doubled the rent, I doubled the value. It's worth $1.6 million today, right? So I made $800,000 in equity, right? Which is, is, which is a lot of money. But on top of that, it grosses $18,000 a month, right? And my loan is $2,000 a month, right? So if you factor in, you know, whatever, 10,000 for expenses, that's $8,000 a month cash flow, right? That's enough to replace a pharmacist salary. Just one deal is all it took, right? And, and all. so that's why I tell my students like, be persistent because and be consistent like always send out your letters and always make offers because you just need one multifamily deal to change your life right like i just can pay off this 26 unit apartment complex um not deal with the seven ten year loan right not deal with with lenders and this thing will gross eighteen thousand over time rents will go up organically you know you know 10 15 bucks per door but times that by 26 doors right and it, it starts to compound per month right so if you increase it by ten dollars let's just say and you have 26 doors that's that's Two hundred and sixty dollars more in, in cash flow, right? So um, that that's kind of the the power of just one multifamily deal, and that's why I tell my students like, don't give up. Like, you just need one deal to to really have that financial freedom that you want, right? Like, just this one deal is eight thousand dollars a month in cash flow. That's enough to replace a pharmacist salary, right? You know, obviously the income's not as stable as a pharmacist, right? Because you're not guaranteed eight thousand. You know, one month you might have. A plumbing issue. One month you might have to replace the roof. One month you repair the sidewall. That's going to cost you money, but you know if you don't have anything major, it's eight thousand bucks. So that's all you need, 
right? So like it's all you need. Like for me, if my I have 52 unit portfolio, if I paid it off, I can sell two single family homes with high equity, own my primary residence free and clear, own my 26 unit free and clear, and my 20 unit free and clear, my Alabama single family home free and clear. And then I have four properties free and clear. The rental income from those four properties will cover my primary residence, property tax, insurance, HOA. That's financial freedom, right? And and I've achieved that since um, in 11 years, right? But I'm still choosing to work. So that's what's kind of crazy about doing the simple things, right? They, they just compound over time. Like just keep it simple, keep it sustainable over a long period of time. Like I work at W2, right? I, I, I work at W2 and I focus on increasing my W2 over time. You may have to job hop but I kept it simple. Stock portfolio, don't wanna put much time and effort into it. Dollar cost average every month, max out my 401k. If I have extra, I max out my Vanguard, right? Or put in money towards Vanguard, IRA, whatever that looks like. Um, for real estate, you just make consistent offers, right? Like, you know, even even like this house, like you just, every weekend, are you looking at open houses? Are you exploring areas? Are you making offers, right? Just make an offer and worst case, if they say no, then you learn. Right, like you learn something like, oh, okay, well, it's competitive. Like there's multiple offers and it's competitive, right? So that's why I'm like, you know, I just wanna buy new construction because I, I don't wanna compete. I just like, I like the area, I like the house. Just make an offer, they accept it. First come, first serve, easy, right? That's why I like new construction in Huntsville, Alabama. If I were to buy more, I'd buy more new construction because there's no bidding. I, I literally just show up and be like, oh, um, this is the purchase price. This is my down payment. This is my interest rate. This is my rent. This is my cash flow. Am I okay of it? Great, I like the area, buy it. Right, <laughs> that's it, you know, or make an offer and be a beat. So, what wait for the next one? Right, there's always other deals out there. So, that's what I mean by like there's a certain power in just earning owning one multifamily deal, or even like if you buy a house hack every two years, like whatever strategy it is, keep it simple, but just do it for a long period of time, and you'll see the compound and you'll see the wealth build up. Right, that's the true power of wealth building, it's just doing something very simple for a long period of time. Look at the owner of Panda Express. He just makes orange chicken, making it better and better. And he slowly opened up one store, two store, three stores, and it compounds over time, right? Like as you get better, as the systems get better, as you have an unfair advantage, it starts to compound and grow further and further, right? So the key message is just do something very simple for a long period of time. Try to do the same thing with social media. Can I post every day on YouTube for a long period of time and slowly improve? Yeah, right? Just sharing my journey, documenting my journey. Nothing fancy here. Right, no fancy editing, all that stuff. I just share what I'm learning and share my lessons, share my reflections, and that's it. Right? Can I do that for a long time? Yeah. So one simple thing for a long period of time, hopefully I'll compound and get there, right? Um, you know, whatever it is you're doing. So hopefully you got the message out of this is just keep it simple and do it for a long time. If you're looking to buy your first multifamily deal with some guidance, check out my, my mentorship program. If you're looking to get education for you and a group of friends i do offer a one full day workshop now so check out the link as well um if you're interested and please let me know if you have any questions let me know what we took out of this and please share this video with somebody who would find value from this and please like comment subscribe thank you so much